Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profitech Sessions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning REST API development in PHP. This is our part 11. Inside this video session guys, we will discuss about delete API method and inside this method, we are going to use called get request type. So far inside this playlist, we had covered all the different different ways to make our CRUD operations inside REST API development. We had seen how to create products, we had seen that how can we list, how can we re read about a single student details, as well as inside the last video, we had done about the update API method. Now this time, the final thing we need to do about delete API method and this delete operation we can accomplish by using get method or by using our post request type. So if I back to code editor, now this is student.php. Now this is the main class file actually where we are performing all the operations of our CRUD operation. Now inside the footer we are going to define our one more method for the delete operation. So this should be something public function alice delete underscore student. Now inside this we have to write our MySQL query, we have to prepare and bind our parameter. Now this method we are making for the delete operation so let's make a comment so this should be delete student and all thing it is. So now inside this we have to write our delete query first. So let's say delete underscore query and we have to write our MySQL query. So let's say delete from and here we have to pass the table name and remember the table name we have stored inside our variable called table name and this is the variable we have defined at the topmost position and here it is and inside our constructor function we have defined our table name. So back to method, so delete from table name and here we need to specify our where condition. So where id equal to and this should be placeholder. Now finally we need to make our prepare statement for that. So prepare, let's say query and finally here let's set this connection variable and prepare method and inside this we are going to pass this delete query variable and finally it will return our object. So let's say delete underscore obj. Now finally we need to bind our parameter with this placeholder. So if I scroll to footer and let's say that this id equal to we are going to use called html special cars and inside this we are also going to use called strip tags and we here we need to pass our id and this is the id actually this id we will pass from this delete.php because this id we are going to take from this postman means we will pass inside get request type so after taking id we are just filtering about strip tags and html special cards these are two php functions so here we are just lay sanitize and inputs and here finally we need to bind our parameters so bind and here it should be something parameter now here we are going to use called delete object and here we have a method called bind underscore param and inside this remember this id should be an integer value so we need to pass i for the placeholder and we need to attach this id so successfully we have attached this value with our placeholder right here so at the last statement only we need to do we need to execute our query so delete object so let's say if delete object and we have a method called execute and if the query is successfully executed it means it will return the true value Otherwise, if we have some error, then it will return called the false value. All we have done now. So inside this process, we are just executing our query. So executing. So we need to write u here and save all these changes. Open up called delete.php. So right now this file is empty. So we need to create to take the value from the URL. We will pass to this method and delete that respective record. So if we open about single student.php 
uh, not sorry because this time we are going to use call the get method so if I copy these headers copy that d.php and inside this I am going to firstly declare about the headers and the next we need to include these two files to call the objects so copy that and I'm going to copy all the contents right here go to delete.php and pasting it here now this is all about if else block and this is for the get request type so let's the HTTP response code and this should be 503 and let's say service it should be unavailable and here I'm going to return echo JSON in code and inside this we will pass an array and let's say that status equal to 0 and message should be something let's say access denied so here it should be denied now this is only for the protection of our request type now inside this if block firstly we need to receive the ID that will pass via query string so let's say a student underscore ID equal to let's say it set and we are going to use called the get request type and this is the variable name so if this variable has some value so this is the value otherwise we are going to pass empty value here so let's say if not empty student ID it means we have some value we are getting via query string otherwise we have else value and let's say that HTTP response code let's say 404 this is data not found and finally we are going to return our output message so JSON in code array let's say status equal to 0 and let's say message something data all is all data needed now this is all about protection of values via query string now let's say that we have a student ID which contains our integer value so after getting that firstly we need to slice called a student this is an object if we check right here it's a student object and with the help of property called student ID we are going to slice that so student ID variable in slice about the property ID of this student object and finally we are going to call let's say if student object and with the help of this object we are going to call our method that we have made called delete underscore student so copy that and pasting it here so inside if now let's declare about the else block so http response code and let's say 500 it means that we have some server error so right here let's say echo json in code we are going to declare an array and let's say that status equal to zero and finally let's say message equal to let's say field to delete let's say a student now inside this if block it means we have successfully deleted that student now if I copy this output response pasting it here and this is 200 200 it means that we have now ok result so status should be 1 and let's say that a student deleted successfully so if we save all these changes now I think that we have developed delete.php with a fully functional code so back to postman to check our code and if I copy this URL open a new tab in postman and this time this is delete.php so if we pass our post request type send button so access denied obviously because we are just making this method with get request type so choose get and remember we have to pass id inside query string so let's say id equal to so back to table let's check about the student entries and inside this table we have called 1235 id so let's say that we are going to delete called the third number row so if we pass id equal to 3 press send button 
and a student deleted successfully. If I change it to JSON, now this is our response. Back to browser, reload this data list, ignore all and if you go to the list and as we can see that third number row, it means third number ID is deleted from this table now. So successfully guys, inside this video, we had implemented about the delete method using get request type. If suppose if you want to implement about post request type, only you need to change about the headers as well as inside post request type as we have seen about several times that we need to pass our parameters inside this body section. And also we have seen that how can we receive all the parameters if we use our post request type by using this php input. So while getting this variable, we have to unslice and call the same method what we have defined inside this student.php. So request type is not a big deal to implement like get and the post. The main concept is that how can we define our method and call inside these files and get delete that. So inside this video session guys, if you went out, then please drop your comment. I will leave my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.